sex talk. Derek the Miley. Cause sexuality is tough. And okay, sex just isn't good enough. No. Sex talk. With Derek and Miley. Hey, welcome to Sex Talk, everyone. I'm Erica Miley. Today, I'm here just by myself to talk to you a little bit about medication and sex. This topic is a topic people have asked me questions about generally, and I thought this would be an excellent whole episode, not just single question and answer type thing. So I really wanted to talk about what is actually most typical to questions I get is, hey, I'm on an antidepressant or, hey, I'm on an anti-anxiety medication and I am struggling with my desire or I'm struggling with the lubrication or I'm struggling to even want to have sex in any way, shape, or form. This is super common with these types of drugs. So I kind of want to talk a little bit about some of those common side effects that many of the people that I talk to identify. They talk about really struggling to achieve orgasm, period. So oftentimes they'll say, hey, I don't know why this is taking me so long. I don't understand. I've always been able to reach orgasm, always been able to figure this out with my partner, and I'm really struggling with that. So that's actually a really common issue for both men and women. Also, a general lack of desire. So when I talk to people about sexual desire, I talk about it in the way of gas and brakes. So it's like someone has put a brick on the brakes, and it's like you don't have control over it. So just even getting to the start line seems to be a really big problem for people who are on some of these medications. Some folks even experience issues of drying their natural lubrication in the middle of sex or even discomfort during sex. Oftentimes men will, they'll let me know, oh, I'm actually having trouble getting erection or have a delayed orgasm, kind of like I talked about before. And in some drugs, it can actually reduce male-bodied people's sperm count. So every person experiences some sort of sexual side effect from these medications. And it causes people a lot of distress. Like, what is wrong with me? Am I broken? Did I do something wrong? Has something changed? When you're already struggling with how you see your mood, how you see yourself, how you see the things you're experiencing, on top of that, it seems like something that you didn't have issues with before, namely sex. Now you're having problems with it. So you're not alone. First and foremost, that is one of the biggest things I want you to know is that you're not alone and you're not crazy. Your medication is impacting your ability to be with your partner physically. Your medication is, again, acting like breaks for your desire. Second, I really want you to be patient with yourself it's probably going to take you longer for your body to recognize that it's having desire. I mean, that is what is happening with the medication. The medication is actually interfering with your body's ability to identify that it's experiencing desire. It will also take you longer to reach orgasm. I'm sorry. (laughs) This is something that it's not worth giving the old for lack of a better way to put it, the old college try, be patient. You can get there. You're not broken. You are dealing with an actual barrier. Third, lubricant, lubricant, lubricant. (laughs) Most people experience some sort of dryness. Their natural lubrication, just many people experience that in some way, shape, or form generally. But on these medications, there is a marked difference. Many people will tell me, I just cannot get lubricated on my own. So be liberal with the lubrication. It is okay to keep that bottle of lubrication right next to your bed. Use as much of it as you need. Use a lube you like. This is a big deal. Oftentimes we get stuck in a rut and something that we've always used and we don't really like. Find a lubricant you really, really like. 
the thing that I would suggest is be aware of what's in the lubricant. There are some lubricants that have things like glycerin in them or they have other kinds of sugars in them and that can actually cause some irritation to female-bodied folks with yeast infections and things like that. So be aware of what you're using in and on your body. The way I think about it is if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, why would it belong in your genitals? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a simplistic way to think about it, but your genitals are sensitive and they can experience irritation and that maybe like the top of your leg skin might not feel. So watch what you're using. Now, I do have a couple suggestions. I'm actually going to probably do a, an entire episode about lubrication and maybe have some folks on who do some reviews of lubrication just so you have a sense of it. But when it comes to good lubrications that these two companies are, are very intentional about what they put in their lubricant and many clients that I've dealt with that have either gone through like menopause or have gone through health issues and their natural lubrication isn't something that is necessarily accessible to them, these two companies have a pretty good products that are non-irritating. So the first company I want to talk about, and I think I've mentioned this company on the show before, is called Yes, Yes, Yes. And this company has various different types of lubricant. The ones that I think are the best for when you're dealing with some dryness due to mental health medications are water-based so that you can be liberal with them so that you can continue to use them over and over and over again without much irritation to your body. They make oil-based, they make water-based, but water-based in particular seems to have the least amount of irritation for folks. And yes, 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 they have lubrication that is actually organic and made for when you're experiencing serious irritation. So you can check out their website. It's yesyesyes.org, and I'll make sure that all of this information is in the show notes. The other company that does a really good job, and I've seen many wonderful reviews of their products generally, is Sliquid. That's S-L-I-Q-U-I-D. And Sliquid. I just like to say it. <laughs> so that company also has products that are water-based, oil-based, and they think about what types of chemicals are going into the lubricant to try to make it as body safe as possible. So shop around, see what you like, see if there's anything out there that you really could see yourself using more frequently, maybe even finding a lubricant that doesn't have any kind of fragrance or if you decided that you wanted to use it in your mouth, you could and feel safe about it. So take a look at those websites, see what you think, take a look around, look at there's tons of reviews on lubricants. You can definitely find one that you like and get a couple bottles of it. Like I said, use it liberally. Fourth, do you have a fantasy that's super hot for you? Have you ever really thought about a sexual fantasy that either for you and your partner or whatever the case may be, is there something that maybe your partner does that works better than other things that your partner does? Do you need some assistance from a toy? It's okay to talk about what you need. Well, Generally, just period. You can talk about what you need sexually. But especially when you're dealing with a chemical barrier to your natural arousal, it is absolutely important and necessary for you and your partner to talk this through. Because a lot of people come to me with shame and feeling like they're to blame for experiencing the things they're experiencing, when in reality, they're fighting this thing that they cannot change. Because it's so important for them to be taking their medication regularly to maintain their mental health. So talk with your partner, figure out oh, are there extra things or could there be more foreplay? Could there be more 
of that special outfit, whatever that is that really increases your desire and trying your best to use it to encourage your brain to do what it's supposed to be doing. Again, picture this as like a brick on your brakes for your sexual desire. You're not crazy. These are serious sexual side effects. And it's also important for you to be taking your medication. So trying to find a place where you can have those wonderful sexual moments with your partner and be able to take care of your mental health at the same time. So again, the two companies I mentioned, Yes, 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 and Sliquid, both of those are excellent. I've seen others that are out there that are wonderful, that advertise themselves to be organic and things like that. The biggest thing to look for is check those ingredients on those lubricants. So again, first, you're not crazy. (laughs) Second, be patient with yourself. Third, lots of lube. (laughs) Fourth, Do you have stuff in your sexual story that is really hot for you? Rely on those things. Have conversations around those things. And please, if you need to reach out for help and have that third party of a sex therapist, someone like me, to reach out to, reach out. We help walk folks through these types of things all the time, every single day. And we're happy to help. Sex is something that I know that me and my many colleagues out there are something that we're very, very passionate about normalizing and making it something that we can all talk about without fear and shame. In particular, when you're trying to deal with other mental health issues, we want you to be able to take your medication. We also want you to be able to get off. (laughs) So please, Contact a sex therapist if you feel like this is something that you will have a really hard time talking to your partner about. Now, all that being said, I would love to hear from you and answer your questions. So you can always hit me up at erica at ericamiley.com. I'm on all the socials, all the things, and I'm happy to answer questions. Here coming up, I'm going to be offering every single week, I'm going to be on Instagram Live to answer your questions after episodes air. So any questions that you can come up with, I'm going to be there to answer. So get ready and pay attention because those lives are coming and I'm going to do them regularly so that I can bring you as much value as I possibly can. So thanks so much, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for listening, folks. Please rate and review on iTunes. It helps this podcast get found. If you leave a five-star review, let me know about it on any social media, and I'll shout you out on the podcast. You can find my website at ericamiley.com. You can find me on Facebook, the gram, and Twitter. See y'all next time.